Hello everyone, Darkblane here. I just want to look at Vyloris, uh, starting with her skills. Uh, I'm going to start with her ultimate ability here. Uh, Cruel Endeavors. Using the ultimate skill affects all enemies with a cursed aura. If an enemy is already afflicted by a cursed aura, its duration is reset and the enemy is dealt 320% attack rating damage. When using this skill, Vyloris is immune to control effects and cannot be targeted. Uh, passive effects. All cursed aura have a duration of 9 seconds and enemies already afflicted by a cursed aura lose 25% defense. This effect cannot be stacked or dispelled. When an enemy uses their ultimate skill, the cursed aura is removed. Vyloris is immune to control effects when entering the battlefield. And at level 2, damage is dealt to damage dealt to enemies already afflicted by Cursed Aura is increased to 380% of attack rating, and level 3 enemies in a state of defensive disarray lose 35% defen defense. So yeah, enemies will be uh, afflicted with Cursed Aura, and enemy will also be dealt 320% damage if they are already afflicted by the Cursed Aura here. And while, and while under the effects of Cursed Aura, they'll have uh, they'll lose 25% defense here, and it cannot be stacked, and the Cursed Aura will last for 9 seconds. I, I think the important thing here is when an enemy uses their ultimate skill, the Cursed Aura is removed, so you do not want the, you do not want the enemy to use their ultimate skill here. And that's, that's the uh, ultimate skill. Let's move on to Cursed Agony. Vyloris deals 200% attack rating damage to the closest and farthest enemies and causes them to lose 40% of their current energy, also marking them with a Cursed Aura. The minimum amount of energy lost is at least 200 points. If an enemy is already afflicted by a Cursed Aura, its duration is reset. Level 2 damage is increased to 240%. Level 3 that damage is increased to 280%. And level 4, the percentage of current energy lost by enemies is increased to 50%. So Vyloris deals, uh, deals damage to the enemies, closest and farthest enemies, and they will also lose for, also lose 40% of their energy. That's That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that, that sounds like a pretty cool skill there. Uh, making, making the enemies uh, lose energy, causing them to not use their ultimate skill. Uh, it will definitely help that ultimate ability. Uh, go to the third skill, Fatal Embrace. Vyloris uses 10% of her current health to manifest a shield of equal value which cannot be lower than 8% of her max health, and that exists for 5 seconds. Vyloris then deals 9% max health damage to enemies that have a Cursed Aura, but damage cannot exceed 530% of her attack rating. Damage dealt causes enemies to deal 30% less damage for the following 7 seconds. This, this effect cannot be stacked. Uh, level 2 shield duration is extended to 7 seconds. Level 3 deals 12% max health damage to enemies with a Cursed Aura. Damage cannot exceed 530% of Vyloris' attack rating. And level 4, after using the ultimate skill Cruel Endeavors, the current cooldown duration of the skill Fatal Embrace is reduced by 90%. So, yep. Uh, Vyloris will create a shield here, it looks like, and that shield will last for 5 seconds. And she deals 9% uh, max health damage that to enemies that have a Cursed Aura, so that's important to remember. And, yeah, and uh, the damage dealt Damage dealt causes enemies to deal 30% less damage. So yeah, they'll be doing less damage, which that sounds very nice there. That last part sounds pretty cool. And also, this level 4 sounds really cool. Uh, reducing the cooldown duration of Fatal Embrace by 90%. And the final skill, Everlasting Torment. Vyloris deals 300% attack rating damage to the most injured enemy, causing them to lose 3% of their max health every second for the following 6 seconds. Health loss per second cannot exceed 180% of Vyloris' attack rating and cannot result in death. This effect cannot be st stacked or dispelled. Uh, level 2 duration. Enemy loses health is increased to 7 seconds. Level 3 uh, increased to 8 seconds. And level 4, if an enemy has a cursed aura, they are unable to receive healing for the following 9 seconds after they are struck by the skill Everlasting Torment. 
So this sounds pretty cool out here as well. Uh, Vylorus will deal uh, damage to the most injured enemy and they will lose 3% of their max health every second for 6 seconds. So that's, that sounds pretty cool. And the duration uh, increases as you uh, level level the skill up here, so that's very nice. Increases it to 8 seconds. So that, that sounds very cool. And also, I forgot to mention this. Uh, we've already just we've already already discovered this. Vyloris is a Hypogean hero. Uh, she will also be intelligence based. Uh, a mage is her class, and her primary role is burst damage. So that that's very cool. Okay, let's move on to the signature item. I want to look at her signature item. Anolis of Lethality. Uh, signature item skill Havoc. The actual amount of health Vyloris uses to manifest a shield for Fatal Embrace is reduced by 30%, does not affect shield value, and Vyloris passively deals 150% more damage to enemy summons. So, uh, the amount of health Vyloris use the amount of health Vyloris uses to manifest a shield will be reduced, and that actually does not affect the shield's value. So she'll be using uh, less health to. Uh, put up a shield, which that sounds pretty cool. Uh, the plus 10, uh, the actual amount of health Vyloris uses to manifest a shield for Fatal Embrace is reduced by 60%, and Vyloris passively deals 200% more damage to enemy summons. Uh, plus 20, 35% of damage uh, dealt to enemy summons is converted into Vyloris' health. And a plus 30, uh, whenever an enemy hero summons dies, the enemy hero is afflicted by a cursed aura. If the enemy is already afflicted by cursed aura, its duration is reset. Okay, that's plus 30 signature item. Sounds very cool. Uh, enemy summon dies. The enemy will be afflicted with a cursed aura. So yeah, getting those cursed auras out sounds like a very uh, good thing for Vyloris. So yeah, I, I think that plus 30 signature item will be pretty good. Okay, let's move on to the exclusive furniture. I want to see uh, what her furniture has here as well. Okay, here we call. Here we are. Uh, it's called Anguish. The three of three, when value of the shield manifested by Fatal Embrace is additionally increased by uh, 300%, and Valoris's healing is increased by 120% while the shield exists. So, it'll. The uh, value of the shield be additionally increased by uh, 300%, which that is a lot, I feel. And also, her, her healing will be increased by 120% while the she while she has the shield. Which just, that sounds very nice. And also, we have the nine of nine damage dealt by Fatal Embrace to heroes afflicted by a cursed aura is transformed into AOE damage. So yeah, also ma making the uh, cursed aura cursed aura here much more important because yeah, uh, enemies that have a cursed aura that are de dealt damage, they'll be transformed into AoE damage here. So yeah, al allowing even more uh, enemies to get hit uh, by this damage. So yeah, that, that sounds like a very good thing. The Night of Nine sounds very good, allowing uh, Vyloris to do even more damage. Okay, I already looked at the engraving with the, uh, I already looked at the engraving skills with the bottom two skills. Those have the engraving. Yeah, I, I just want to look at. Uh, I just want to look at what you get here uh, with uh, reaching stars. You get MP. It looks like. So yeah, that, that that sounds very cool. And yeah, the details up here. You get you get a lot of stats from the engraving. I I, I like engraving because you get a lot of stats from it. Okay, let's go over to the arena top arena of trials and uh, test her out here in the arena of trials. Here we are, the Arena of Trials has already started, but I'm not going to do the actual Arena of Trials. I just want to uh, take a look at her in, with the uh, wooden dummy, uh, this thing right here. I just want to look at her here with uh, with this part. I just want to see how uh, well her skills look. Yeah, she she looks, her, uh, her appearance looks very cool. And there's her shield right there. And... Yeah, that that was a that was a pretty big ultimate ability, right there. Yeah, it takes up almost the entire screen there. And there's her shield again. I want to see the cursed aura. I'm guessing that's the cursed aura right there. The enemies afflicted with the cursed aura for nine seconds, unless they use their ultimate skill, then they'll be uh, taken off. 
Yeah, I, I, I see her working well with heroes that uh, that will not allow that will not allow the enemies to use their ultimate abilities. Like Pharrell, I can see. I mean, I'm even seeing maybe the Mahiro Rose comp with her, because I, I believe uh, Mahiro's ultimate ability does not allow the enemies to use their ultimate abilities on themselves. I believe it's just their uh, normal attacks. So I can even see maybe the Mahiro Rose comp working. I would, I would, I would definitely like to, to uh, test that out to see if that will work. Uh, I, I feel like that could possibly work, or. May, or maybe the Mahiro Rose comp is fine as it is, and it doesn't really need anybody else in its team. Yeah, it's just going to take testing to see where this hero will fall uh, to, I guess. Yeah, she's looking very cool, though. I, I, I like her shield. I like how the shield has a purple aura around it. And yeah, I, I, I really like the whole uh, her whole theme here. It looks It looks very cool. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's by Loris, testing her out. Overall, I feel like she's going to be a pretty good Hypogean. Again, it's going to take some testing to see where she is going to uh, go. But yeah, I feel like she's going to be a pretty good hero. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. There'll be a button above my head that will allow you to do that. And if you want to see some more of my other videos, there'll be some videos to the left of your screen. And thanks for watching.